In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the cooling system on a Briggs & Stratton single cylinder uh, L-head lawnmower engine. Uh, these engines are air-cooled, which means that they have uh, cooling fins on the cylinder and uh, cylinder head. And they rely on air being able to flow past those cooling fins and through convection remove the uh, heat from the engine. Um, what causes the air to flow past the uh, cylinder um, cylinder cooling fins are the fins on the flywheel and the passages created by the uh, um, engine shroud or um, they, also, they also call it a blower housing and if those passages get restricted with um, grass clippings or leaves uh, the engine can overheat so it's important that the um, cooling system be cleaned every year or um, every 100 hours. Our first step in uh, cleaning the cooling system is to make sure that the outside of the mower uh, engine is clean. Um, on this red decorative piece you have these vents here which, are, which is part of the cooling system because air needs to be able to flow through these vents so make sure that they're not plugged. Uh, if you have an older mower uh, before they started using these plastic outer uh, pieces they would put a, um, a screen, attach a screen to the flywheel. Um, if you have one of those make sure that that's, that screen is clean. After you uh, clean the outside of the engine, uh, we need to remove the uh, blower housing or shroud so that we can get to the um, um, cooling fins on the cylinder. And to do that, we need to remove the um, this plastic piece, the gas the gas tank, and then we can get to the um, the shroud and remove that. So the the next step is to uh, remove this red plastic piece. It's held on by two two Phillips screws. and then you can set that aside. Next I'm going to remove the uh, gas tank and, and not completely but just enough so I can set it aside and get it out of the way. And then there's a uh, there's one bolt on the side here. I'm ready to remove the uh, blower housing or shroud which is this piece right here. Uh, make sure that this area is clean, make sure there's no debris here. And uh, this, this shroud is held on by um, four bolts. There's two two up front here and uh, two in the back. Then I've got one more bolt holding on the um, the conduit for the uh, oil dipstick which is attached to the shroud so I need to remove that bolt. Then I can um, take this dipstick housing off and set it aside. Now I can uh, lift the shroud off and uh, set that aside. With the uh, shroud off, you can see the uh, fins on the uh, flywheel. Uh, these fins uh, draw air into the engine and help circulate it through all these passages and, and around the uh, cooling fins on the cylinder. You can see here, um, that's a cooling fin on the cylinder. You need to make sure all this area around here is clean. Uh, the best way to do that is with compressed air if you have it. If you don't have compressed air, you can use a, a screwdriver to, uh, you know, kind of dig things out and um, just just pick it out and get it out of the engine. Uh, sometimes a, a paintbrush will help. Uh, just make sure that this entire area is uh, clean and so that there's no um, block passages and the air can flow uh, freely around the engine. Also make sure that the um, fins on the cylinder head here are 
are clean. So, um, yeah, this whole area should be clean when you're done. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments section, and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for watching.